بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم یور آئی ٹی ٹیچر شاہد علی خان اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی ہیو اے نیو ویڈیو ریلیٹڈ ٹو ویریبلس سو لیٹ سی واٹ وی ہیو ان دس ویڈیو اباؤٹ ویریبلس ویریبلس ان سی این سی پلس پلس لینگویج we will discuss about variables in c and c++ so what we have first of all we will discuss about introduction to variable after that naming of variable how to assign names of variable and then types of variables used in c++ and c language declaration of variables and initialization of variables so let's see one by one about these topics number one is variables a variable is the storage location in memory that is stored by its value normally we store different values in a variable same like mathematics in programming language variables are used to store values in computer's memory a variable is identified or denoted by a variable name the variable name is a sequence of one or more letter digits or underscore for example num1 name sum etc we can use alphabets as well as digits and underscore sign between the variable names and we can see in this picture that data is stored in a variable it's just like a bucket or a bowl and bowl is every time is empty you have to use that bucket and you have to store different data and after that you will be remove that data from that bucket so variable is a type of a place that can store values so let's see next rules for defining variable name so what are different rules we will discuss a variable name can have one or more letters or digits or underscore for example sum num etc we can use letters and digits with the variable name and in between variable name we can join with the underscore sign as well white space or blank space punctuation symbols or other characters are not permitted to denote variable name means special character symbols comma semicolon and different signs special characters are not allowed to use in variable name as well as space is not allowed a variable name must begin with a letter it is necessary that variable name should or must start from a letter after that we can use digit variable name cannot be keyword or any reserved word of c++ programming language we could not assign a variable name with a reserved word that is resemble with the reserved word of c language or c++ reserved words are special words that have specific meaning in c language or they are different functions they are already used in header files of c that's why we could not use as a variable name C++ is a case sensitive language variable names written in capital letter differ from variable name with the same name but written in small letter for example the variable name sum differ from the variable name sum it means that C++ or C language is a case sensitive language case sensitive language means it can Uh, differentiate between small letter and capital letter c language can 
understand what is the capital letter and small letter it with it will ha handle in different manner for example a variable name sum in capital letter it is different for c language and the variable name in the small letter sum is another variable name so c language can uh, uh, distinguish between a small letter and capital letter so c language will assign to different name but in english they are same sum but for c language it is capital letter variable name sum and this one is another small letter so let's move next declaration of variables every variable used in the program should be declared to the compiler the declaration does two things number one tell the compiler the variable name we have to declare the variable in the starting of the c language it means that you have to declare means mention the variable name it specific specifies what type of data variable will hold as well as you have to define the variable's data type because in programming language or c language we have different data types but in mathematics we have only one data types so there is no need to mention the data type but in programming language we have to use different data types that's why you have to mention the data type name with the variable name the general format of any declaration of variable you have to define data type then is space then variable one if you have the same data type different variables means data type is same so you can use comma between variable names if data type is same variable one variable two variable three and so on in between you can use comma where variable one two and three are variable names variables are separated by comma a declaration statement must end with a semicolon and in the end you have to use semicolon or semicolon is used in c language the end of mark statement so it is necessary when you have end your statement in c language so you have to use semicolon and now in the last that is variable types in c language we have different variable types number one integer for integer we will we will use int they are also called data types so whenever you are declaring a variable so before the variable name you have to mention the data type so these are the data type as well variable names int is for integer char char for character float for floating point means decimal number you want to store so you will use float and after that there is another double precision floating point means if you have a very bigger value you want to store in float so float has a capacity of a particular range that can store or if you want to store a very bigger value in floating point variable so you will use double in the next coming video we will discuss about the float character integer and double and their capacity as well so i hope students that you have understood about the today's lecture if you have any question you can ask in the upcoming video we will discuss about the different data types used in c language so until that allah hafiz i am going to signing out